Hello there, Cancer. Thank you for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of December 22nd through the 28th. I am using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg once again for this forecast. So, Cancer, what we have for you on Monday, Monday we have the Nine of Swords coming up. And so this is not a good start to the Christmas week. It looks like you're really obsessing about something. There's something that you just can't take your mind off. It's got you totally distracted. It may even be interfering with your sleep. So some kind of situation that it feels like you really don't have any control over it, but it is definitely bothering you. Has you really, really worried? Tuesday, we have a total shift in gears. We have the Ace of Coins showing up. And the Ace of Coins is a gift. So not surprising, we're in the Christmas season. So Tuesday I see this beautiful, wonderful gift showing up for you. Wednesday, and this is a physical, tangible gift, by the way. Okay, so Wednesday, Ace of Clubs showing up in reverse. I feel like I need to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me, there it is. Okay, so Ace of Clubs in reverse. This is really talking about on Wednesday you are going to be passing along some inspiration to some other people around you. Cancers, some of you are not even going to be aware that you're doing this on Wednesday. You're just going to be trucking right along, normal you, doing what you normally do, Christmas Eve, and it'll come up later on. Wow, whenever you said that, that really hit me. I never looked at it this way or whatever, you know. So passing along some inspiration. For some of you, you'll realize, okay, I am giving some people some ideas on how to get it all together before Christmas. <laughs> and you know you're passing along inspiration. So it could manifest either way in your life where you're actually doing it consciously or unconsciously. But either way, people are going to be taking their cue from you on Wednesday. Thursday. Christmas time. Wow, Cancer, Six of Cups in reverse. This is um, this is this is kind of rough. Gosh, I don't even really like saying this. Okay, so in Christmas, Cancers, what I'm seeing is that you guys are going to have some memories that are not such fun memories to have. In other words, these are memories of some negative things that have happened in the past. And for some of you, um, <clears throat> yeah. For some of you, you're going to be missing some people. You're going to be missing some people who have crossed over this Christmas. And you're going to be really, um, for some of you, you've got some real fresh grief actually going on still. So it hasn't, for, for me, when I say that grief is fresh, um, within the last three to six to nine months is very, very fresh. Um, once you get into a year, it's not fresh anymore. It still hurts like crazy, but it's not fresh anymore. So I'm saying, you know, this is somebody that's passed within the last year that you're just still missing them like crazy on Christmas. Um, gosh, I just want to cry thinking about it. Um, and for others of you, this is just going to be getting together and kind of laughing about, um, this is better, kind of laughing about some old memories that were not so hot. Um, some memories about some Christmas plans that kind of went wrong <laughs> in the previous years, that type of thing. So actually, um, not as bad as I thought at first. If, if it manifests for you that way, that could be quite enjoyable. <laughs> All right, so that looks like what's coming up for you guys on Christmas Day. The day after Christmas, we have the Six of Clubs coming up in reverse. Wow. And so, Cancers, Six of Clubs, coming up in reverse, this is telling me that you've actually done something that benefits more than just you. It benefits other people around you. And it's eerie because even though you've done this and it's a big project and other people realize, I mean, they couldn't help but see that you've done this, nobody seems to be expressing any appreciation at all. And it's just kind of the eeriest thing on Friday. Okay, so on Saturday, I have a really good card coming up for you, Cancers. This is the Magician. And the Magician really talks about um, taking the resources that we have at hand and using those to make what we want. So this is not going out and spending big money to buy something that we want. This is actually taking what we have and putting it together and making what we want with it. Um, the best example I can think of for that is cake. You know, whenever you're cooking, you take the ingredients, the flour, the sugar, the oil, the egg, all that stuff, you put it all together. And, you know, it's nothing like cake when you look at each ingredient. When you're done, it's cake. It's wonderful. So um, this is kind of like that. You take what you have at hand and you make what you want with it. And, of course, it doesn't have to be food. It can be any situation that you're working with. Okay, so let's see. Sunday. Nine of clubs in reverse. 
This is just telling me that you have some kind of situation that is a project really that you've been working on. And I've seen clubs projects coming up, nine of clubs come up as emotional relationship stuff. And I've also seen it come up as um, things that we're passionate about. So it could be hobbies or it could be a project at work, but it's something that we're passionate about. And it's something that we're actually trying to wrap up. We feel like we're coming to the end of working on this thing. And um, we're running into some delays about getting this wrapped up. So um, this could manifest even as maybe somebody that you love trying to get on the plane to go home and for whatever reason their plane is delayed. Something like that. Or, you know, like I said, it could be a project or it could be a relationship type thing. But anyway, something's going on that you're trying to wrap up and you keep running into snags and delays. And it's kind of getting to the point now where you're like, gosh, is this ever going to be over? <laughs> Okay, so Cancer, that is your week. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, please check out my website. Do make sure I'm the best reader for you first. Um, I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot info, I-N-F-O. You can find out lots of, um, I don't know, cool, boring information. You tell me <laughs> once you get to the website. Um, and then if you decide that I am the right reader for you, feel free to contact me. There's a zillion and one ways there, and we'll schedule you a reading as quickly as we can. For the rest of you, I will see you next week. Everybody who celebrates Christmas, have a wonderful Christmas. Everybody else, have a wonderful week. And I will see you next time. And peace, peace, peace to all of you.